Alright fam, we back at it like we never left. Still covering the worst foods that are out there in my neck of the hood, no doubt. Now we're about to get into some tacos. <clears throat> I ain't gonna sit here and stump. Like, I'm not nervous about this one because tacos that might be bad and seafood that might be bad. I don't know if I have the iron stomach for that, but for the foodie fam, I'm gonna do it anyway. One thing that I'm sick and tired of hearing is the COVID excuses for serving piss poor food that's way overpriced. $35 for a pitcher of margaritas that wasn't even worth the 50 cents worth of ice. Worst ever. I ordered the carnitas burrito and I could tell when they sit in front, front of me, that it was going to be bland. No seasoning at all. The red sauce wasn't anything more than a can of diced tomatoes poured on top. Zero flavor. Call this a lesson learned. Mm -mm. Uh oh. Uh oh, those are fighting words right there, son. They're like, yo, bam, 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 punch him in the mouth. Bow, bow, beat him down, bow, bow, uppercut. Woo! I came here last night for the first time. We waited to be seated just as the sign said. And we waited and waited. Staff walked by us more than once and refused to even acknowledge our existence. We were not good enough for this place. We finally left and we will never return. First impressions are everything just like customer service. And when you start off bad, that's already sad. They had to stab out, go somewhere else to eat. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, one more review and you know we're about to slide to the spot. Terrible food, extremely questionable service. Bartender Tom talks back to you and drinks on the job. I've been there to eat after golf and I'll be finding a new restaurant. Look, I seen all that I needed to hear. You hear what I'm saying to you? We need to slide over to enchiladas and see what's happening with the food and the service. I'll see you in two and two like a Chuck Willoughby love connection. All right, fam, it's nasty raining outside. I pulled up on enchiladas out here in Hamden, Connecticut. We heard about Tom, the bartender, dr dr drinking on the job. We also heard it got piss poor food. And the wait time is bananas. I don't know if I'm going to do the review inside the restaurant or inside the whip based on the music situation and everything because I don't want to have to cut nothing down low. But let's slide over to enchiladas and really see what's happening. <laughs> Oh, these jones is crispy. Lightly salted chips. Crunchy, y'all. I don't know where the sauce is, but I bet if I dipped it in there. Now, I'm not going to lie, like this spot doesn't throw me off just a little bit because I see it next to a golf course. This is a fairly nice, not nice little area out here in Hamden. Every spot that I've been to, every, every authentic Mexican restaurant I've been to, I hate, I hate to sound racist, son. I, that's not me, baby. Not how I move, but I seen ethnic individuals in the spot. Not over here. Mm. Cold, spicy. Mm hmm. Got peppers of off in there. Chunky, not watery. I'm sorry, that got too much flavor. Like, even with me turning it like that, you don't even see it sliding out watery. This right here is dumb thick. It's spicy. Oh, and it's, and, it, and it's cold. That was just a little bit. That was a little bit. Don't trip. That was a little bit. I'm over here tripping. It's on my pants. I don't care. It's tasty, though. So, so far for your chips and salsa, I'm giving that a five all day, baby. You got a two and a half for making people wait for what they call piss poor food in the reviews. Oh, is this, this has got, got to be that ground beef taco, right? Because I got a ground beef taco. I got a barrier street taco. That that got to be the barrier joint right there. Let me put you up here. Which one are you? Which one are you, boo? This right here got to be the, you got to be the crispy chicken taco with the carne, con verde taco over there, right? What else, what else you give me? Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Before, and before we get into our tacos, I got that elote, which is the Mexican corn taco. What else is on the elote? Because the elote get busy. <laughs> you know? Mexican street corn, grilled corn, 
on the cob. All right, so the elote is the Mexican street corn, grilled corn on the cob, slathered in a heavy cream. It's Mexican, you know, elote is Mexican street corn, grilled corn on the cob, slathered in a cream spike sauce. What is that, a creamy co cotija? So the elote is Mexican street corn, grilled corn on the cob, slathered in a creamy cotija spiked sauce. Cotija, cotija. I know y'all gonna correct me. I know y'all, that's all right, correct me. Correct me, you know? Go ahead and correct me, baby. You know what I'm saying? To hold your corn, that's respectable. That way it's not getting all over your finger piece. Mmm, look at that. Look at that, family. Does this look like an authentic elote right here to you? Mmm. 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 I can't stop when I say this has to be probably the best Elote I done had to date. First off, the corn isn't hard corn. It's not the corn is getting caught all in your tooth like somebody made this corn on the cob the right way. Because the corn, the way it breaks down in your mouth, it is sliding down with ease. But you are getting so many strong, look at this, cheesy, mild, spiced up flavor, savory, and quite enjoyable for corn on the cob. Mm. Slightly salty. Mmm. Mmm. Dang, yo. And these are all the to goes for, my, for your tacos. These are all the to goes right here. But I want to get into these tacos. Because to read the reviews, talking about some piss poor food, I don't know. I don't know. I see ground beef. What do you see? Oh, oh. You don't see much anymore. That joint was soft. I, I did ask for hard shell action only because I didn't want it being floppy, sloppy copy. But I'm going to just have to get the beef as is. There is lettuce and tomato down there. But apparently, it, well, I smell like peanut butter. This ain't Skippy peanut butter scent. This is Jif. Mm. With a top, with a top. Y'all know how we treat that. Grand opening, grand closing. Y'all know how we treat it. I'm sorry. This first taco. Uh-uh. First taco was Garbuto. <laughs> Garbuto! Mommy, uh-uh. No bueno. No bueno on this taco at all. No, no. Close that all the way up. Don't even let the scent of the taco escape. That thing right there smelled like peanut butter. And the ground beef was straight mush butt that wasn't even strong chewable well seasoned ground beef like all the seasoning went into the elote because nobody cared to season this you threw lettuce and tomatoes on it then you gave me a soft shell and i asked for hard shell on everything i gotta wash that out my mouth twice <laughs> all right this gotta be the barrier this one has some juice getting loose Oh uh, yeah, I see the juice trying to move a little bit. Barrier Street Tacos, I might be pronouncing it wrong and I apologize if I am. Please correct me in the comment section, you know what I'm saying? I ain't perfect. Correct me in the comment section. I'm like, damn, uh, it's Berea. Like a barista. Look like this one right here. Got slapped up on the grill, something crazy because of all the Wesley Snipes. We got mad Wesley Snipes going on up over here. And that's where all the flavor is, the darker, the food. That right there is just Cajun style, baby. Ooh, you drippy, drippy, ain't you, boo? Come here, come here. Mm. 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 The difference with a barrier taco, that's that slow cooked beef right there. Mm hmm. Got cilantro, got onions in there, got cheese in there. These joints are just wild, flavorful. Mmm. The cilantro with the onions provide a great additional flavor to the beef. Just doing wet. Nice little melted cheese. Great added touch of finesse, if you ask me, at the end of the day. Now we have the crispy chicken and the carne asada. Uh, all right. I want y'all to go ahead and get that uh, that visual bite. Mm. Mm. 
I don't know, family. I probably could have did. Oh, my stomach is already hurting. I could have did without all the extra. Um, light chicken flare on this one. Couple pieces up in there. The Chipotle Ranch is just okay, but nothing is really screaming greatness with this particular crispy chicken taco at all. Ah, oh, it's missing something. I'm just gonna say great flavor, a great combination. There, There is really nothing to discuss, which leads me to the carne asada. And uh, let, let's just get into it. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna tell you off the muscle, the steak look overcooked. Say, let me just hit the steak butt naked by itself. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Wow. No flavor on the steak at all. A lot of light, a light olive oil base is what I'm getting off of it, but no true steak seasoning. And it's not juicy steak whatsoever. And that's off the steak bite itself. Mix that in with a soft shell taco and throw in cilantro and onions over it. Oof, this is the type of drink you take a bite, you gotta drink something immediately thereafter because it's gonna get stuck in your throat and uh, you're not gonna be a happy camper. I'm sorry. What's not as bad? I can't pretend. I don't know how. Let's close that up. Honestly, enchiladas, enchiladas, however you want to call it. The best thing that you had were your chips and salsa first. And your birria taco wasn't wasn't too bad. Oh, and the elote, the elote was good. As far as your tacos, uh-uh, I can't come back here for that. And that's what you're known for? Hmm, okay, okay. Keep playing with me. You know we're gonna take this to Yelp, right? You notice what happens next, right? All right, fam, you already know the vibes, man. We already had our situation over there at Enchiladas. I need to go ahead and uh, write this Yelp review and get to business. Well, at least the appetizer was good. I went with your elote and it was packed full of cheesed up goodness with a nice hint of savory kick from your creamy cotija spiked sauce, whatever it was spiked with, left me satisfied and looking forward to more. However, I had four various tacos awaiting my palate and let's just say I should have stopped at your elote and walked away but for the first regular taco had ground beef that never seen anyone's ground and frolicked in the mush fields of mess and IBS irritable bowel syndrome. <laughs> Filing disorderly for whatever given reason, the type of ground beef that started out as a spoiled canned baby food and never stood a chance at growing up to be anything more than just mush for the mouth for those who sought after the lack of flavor and consistency in their food. The lettuce wilted and depressed for good reason, and the diced tomatoes wanted an answer as to why they were ever part of this taco. Hell, I wanted answers to why I ever received such a tainted display of hard times in the form of food. Moving along to your street taco options, and for $15 for three, I said to myself, why not? Little did I know that I was about to find out. Now, your burrito wet option with the cilantro, onions, and cheese was actually okay. It had some decent flavor that made up for your regular taco. That meat was both juicy and didn't put up a fight with toughness, for it was tender enough to chew with some delight, and yes, it was cheesy with a decent crispiness on the shell itself. Oh. I almost forgot to mention the chips and salsa, which was quite tasty. The chips had plenty of bite and the salsa popped with flavor. Bold and exciting with a nice little kick. So kudos there, but let's get back to those raggedy tacos. The crispy chicken taco had an unnecessary lime slaw that didn't mix well with the Chipotle ranch sauce at all. Bitter and off-putting. Now the chicken put up a good fight, but then was defeated by the Chipotle ranch that wasn't zesty, but had the taste of old French dressing from the late 80s that was found in the no frill section of the store. Finally, your carne asada was dry, dry, and dusty. The steak was overcooked, yet had more chew than a pack of big league chew, all to be mixed with dry toppings such as onions that should have been grilled at best, but weren't, and cilantro. All wrapped into a soft shell to help it all truly get stuck in your throat to have you begging for more than just your own spit to wash it down. 
Enchiladas needs to work on their tacos, in my humble opinion. With a plethora of options on their menu, perhaps people go there for everything else but their tacos. But as for me, I'm all set for now. Fam, you know me, I gotta get right to a business. When it's good, it's great, and I could break them off something proper on these Yelp reviews, but when it's bad and sad and disrespectful to the taste buds, I gotta beat them in the head. You know how I get down. Look. I'll see y'all next week, man. I'm not looking forward to the seafood, but I got to do what I got to do for my foodie fam. Like, share, comment, tell a friend to tell a friend. Dame drops his back again with the worst. And we uh, hitting him with the uh, elbow, baby. I holla. Oh, my God.